Hello, this is Brian. Today is Tuesday, May 23rd, 2023. And I'm here at the very end of Regents Road here in University City, San Diego. It's time for a Shrubs of San Diego video today. It's been a video a long time coming because it's been quite a while since I've recorded a video about our landscape plants in the San Diego area. But today, I want to focus on this beautiful exotic shrub here called natal plum. And this is Carissa grandiflora. Carissa grandiflora is usually a small, medium shrub, evergreen leafed, so the leaves persist all year. And it's a member of the dogbane family, the Aposinaceae. And it's this beautiful shrub here. So what we have here are these very thick, leathery leaves that are shiny green, shiny medium to dark green on the upper side, and lighter green, whoops, didn't mean to do that, didn't mean to do that, <laughs> very light colored on the underside with a very short leaf stalk or petiole, and it has a milky white sap as you see here exuding out of the leaf. Now, this shrub also has these very fierce thorns, or spines, as you can see here, out of the sides of the branches, usually where the branches are joined, where they split off. And as you can see here, the leaves are oppositely arranged, which is pretty common in the dog banging family, the Aposinaceae. Yeah, the leaves are very textured, the twigs are light green and again at each node there are some branched spines that are very very fierce and then one way you can kind of have a clue that this is a dogbane member in other words the dogbane family are the white flowers that are on this shrub usually in the spring and summer months and you can see here kind of a windmill shaped five petaled white flower And it's a fragrant flower too. It has a very pleasant fragrance. As you can see, the flowers are similar in shape to another common ornamental plant called the oleander, Nerium oleander, which is also a member of the dogbane family. The dogbane family is known for having a lot of very toxic and poisonous plants. But one thing you'll notice about natal plum is it has edible fruit. These large berry-like fruit right here that are really, really plump and they're very tart. They're very tart when you eat them. So I'm going to take, take some time to take a couple pictures of some of the features we've talked about so far up close so you can have a chance to look at them more in detail than my camera will allow in video. So let's look a little bit lower down on the stems of this plant. Very carefully, I may add, because of the really ferocious spines that stick out. So when the plant's older, you notice the green bark of the twigs kind of gives way to some light grayish furrowing, intermediate furrowing. And eventually, and I'm trying to do this very carefully, turns into a light brown, very gently furrowed bark. Now, a lot of times you're going to see these plants planted in small rows, usually in parking lots. A lot of times you'll find these in parking lots and business districts where they're all neatly trimmed to these hedges. So here I'm featuring one that is allowed to grow on its own. So it's quite a bit taller than you usually expect to see it. So I'm imagining this shrub can get quite a bit larger with age. Usually, 
in the landscape, it's usually trimmed neatly and formally into a hedge. So, this is not how you're typically going to see it. I'm here right next to the start of Rose Canyon open space here in San Diego. And this is pretty, pretty much an unkempt area right here. So, this is not usually how you're going to see it in the landscape. But this is how it can look when it gets bigger and is not cut into neatly trimmed hedges. So it's quite a neat looking plant. Quite a neat looking shrub. If I remember correctly, I believe it's native to South Africa, but I will double check that and correct that if necessary here on the screen as I'm pointing out the features of this plant. But it's, pretty, it's a pretty neat looking plant. It is a very common landscape feature here in Southern California. I've seen this plant so many times. But there you have it. You want to wait till these fruit get a little plumper before you start eating them. This is natal plum, Carissa grandiflora. Just had to take some time to feature this plant and showcase it. <clears throat> See, you guys who might not know what this is, seen it before, wondering what is this? Well, natal plum, Aposinaceae. This will do it on my Shrubs of San Diego episode. I hope you found it informative in identifying one of our more common landscape plants that seems to be everywhere. But there you have it, Carissa grandiflora. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next Shrubs, Plants, Trees of San Diego, whichever comes up.